I'll be as competitive as long as he doesn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have him winning. Hello and welcome back to Buzz's Boot Room Quiz. We have a very special episode today. Um, this will be the last in the series and depending on how it goes, could be my last day at the club as well. <laughs> so, I've got two guests to my right and they don't need an introduction, but I would like them to introduce themselves. So please, if you may. Tony Bloom. Paul Barber. So here we go, round one, guess who, with Carew. All right, so I know you're both avid watchers of the show. That's what we've been talking about. Um, <laughs> so I will remind you on the rules of the first round, though, just so you're clear. So the first round is called Guess Who with Carew. So I'm going to give you five facts about a football player. If you get the player on the first clue, you get five points. Second clue, four points. If you guess and you're wrong, you're frozen out. OK? Okay. All good? All good. What is going on? <laughs> right. This is much You want to get that out of my eyesight because there's, there's answers on there. We're cheating already. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's too distracting to try and have to a not look peak, at. So. I want to give Paul some kind of a chance. Not much. No, definitely not much. Okay, so player number one. As a boy, this player played for East London team, Senrab. Can I just check? Is it... Is this all our players, or it could be any player? Should be any player in the world. There's more. Let's check with Karu. Hi, Tadashi this. That is correct, Bobby yes. Zamora. Sensational start. And that is five points awarded. Did you see that answer? <laughs> <laughs> On to player number two. He started his career at boyhood club Schalke. Pascal. Gone with a guess. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, it's us. That is incorrect, and you are frozen out. So you have a free guess at five points if you wish. Um, Gundogan. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, it's us. That is incorrect. Clue number two, he holds the record for the most German Player of the Year award. Beckenbauer. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, to game us. That is incorrect. So, a free go, if you wish, for four. Lota Mateus. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, to game us. That is incorrect. Carew's been very busy today already. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. So, move on to the third clue. The only German player to have more Premier League assists than Pascal Gross. Klinsmann. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, to game us. That is incorrect. Again, another free go. Struggling on this one. It, it does show. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so we'll move on to clue number four. He won La Liga with Real Madrid. Balak. Let's check with Carew. Yeah, to game us. That is incorrect. Any guesses? No. All Sorry. right, the last clue for one point. This former Arsenal midfielder Ozil. won the World Cup in 2014. Let's check with Carew. Hi, Tadashi this. That is correct. One point awarded. Very good. Not great. I wouldn't have known an Arsenal player. <laughs> and our third and final player of the round. This former player made his international debut against Azerbaijan. There's not a lot in that clue, to be fair. No, there isn't. <laughs> he once shared a flat with Chelsea legend John Terry. Andrew Crofts. Let's check with Carew. Hi, Tadashi this. Correct, Andrew Crofts. Okay, that is the end of round one. The scores on the doors are, admin? Tony six, Paul four. There we go. Pretty tight, pretty tight. Very, tight. Very close. Okay, let's move on to round two, the Wheel of Steel. So Jason's gonna spin a wheel. It's gonna land on a category. You will have 30 seconds to name as many things in that category as you can. For example, we've had things found in the sea. 
how many could you name? As you're winning, you get to say how many you think you can name, and you call him, and vice versa. How long do you have? 30 seconds are on the okay. clock. So let's spin the wheel and see what the first category is. Hello, and welcome to the Wheel of Steel. Let's spin the wheel and find out what the category is. Football club nicknames. Okay, thank you, Jason. The first category is football team nicknames. So how many nicknames across the world for football teams could you name in 30 seconds? Seven. I'll, go, I'll raise it, I'll go eight. Okay. Nine. 10. 11. <laughs> this is like one of our contract negotiations. <laughs> it's just going the opposite way to what it normally does. <laughs> um, oh, God. Well, I've got to say 13, haven't I? Yeah. You can call him. 14. Do it. Okay, so any club in the world. 14 nicknames of football teams in 30 seconds. Admin, are we ready with time on the clock? Okay, three, two, one, go. Tangerine, seagulls, eagle, eagles, robins, uh, hornets, bees, other bees, meringues, um, sky blues, um, um, toffees, um, uh, hornets, um, uh, robins, um, bluebirds, um, reds, red devils. Um. Time, and how many will be finishing? 13. 13. Oh. <laughs> Defin definitely not going to VAR or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, isn't it? It's under pressure. It's hard. Because you get into a theme. Yeah. Yeah. Five points to yourself, Paul. Thank you. Needed that badly. <laughs> I didn't even mention the lily whites, I mean, that's shocking. <laughs> All right, let's see what Jason spins next. Your next category is... <laughs> capital Cities. OK, thank you, Jason. So you have spun Capital Cities. Your first to call on this one, Paul. 10. 11. <laughs> 12. 13. 13. Do it. OK, are we ready with the 30 seconds on the clock, admin? Three, two, one, go. Brasilia, Lima, uh, La Paz, um, Buenos Aires, Auckland, uh, Canberra, London, Dublin, Edinburgh, Paris, Rome, uh, Lisbon, uh, Vienna, uh, Berlin. Done. Smashed it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Terrific. Very good. Exactly. Started in South yeah. America and just worked your way around the world. Scores on the end of the doors? On the end of the doors? <laughs> at the end of the round. <laughs> Tony 11, Paul 9. Oh, it's close, close. It's close. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> okay, so the third and final round on the buzzer. So, <laughs> we have our buzzer. <laughs> it's high tech, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We do need a bigger budget for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Budget's all going on the plan. <laughs> so one buzzer, hands on these. Okay, there's going to be 60 seconds on the clock. The buzz around this week is kind of based on our season this season. So no pressure at all. God, it's embarrassing we don't get these right. <laughs> if you buzz in and are incorrect, you lose two points. But a correct answer is worth two points. Okay. Uh, and do you time it out or do you just keep going? God, it's a bit of a shambles, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I thought this was like a top level yeah. quiz master. We're on the push for top level, we're not quite there yet. But okay. Room for improvement. Always. That's fine. That's fine. And if there's any disputes, we will be checking with yeah. VAR. Oh, I've got VAR. All right, we've got 60 seconds on the clock. Which country is Billy Gilmore from? Scotland. Who is Brighton's number 28? Billy Gilmore. Uh, Incorrect. What was the score in our way with oh, the Forest Green? Press the buzzer. Pause, 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 pause. Stop the time, stop the time. Yeah, I, I thought Tony pressed it. For which one? The Number 28. Oh, yeah, I just jumped in. Sorry. But he got it wrong anyway, so. I know, but I didn't have an opportunity to say it. Well, he loses but, two. Can we just call VAR in? He loses two anyway. Fine, let's carry on. What was the score in our way fixture at Forest Green Rovers? 5 1. Oh. Whoa. Okay, we've lost. We're going to have to stop again. We've lost the buzzer. <laughs> 
what was your answer? Most violent Five it's one. ever been. Five. <laughs> that is another incorrect oh, answer. Having a shocker. It's having three a shocker. nil. And I pressed it first. <laughs> Are you going to get that? Well, you just lose two points each time. I can just sit there and let's say you answer every game wrong. Did you go to any of our games this yeah, season? Yeah, I went to all of them. <laughs> Who did we beat 5 2 at the Amex in September? Leicester. What was our first win at the Amex this season? Um, two points deducted. Who scored their first goal for the club with a header away at Wolves? Matoma. Who scored a penalty in our 3 1 Cup win at Arsenal? Next question. Who scored twice in our 3 0 win over Liverpool? Seriously, guys, come on. <laughs> I'll move on. Which player scored his first goal for Albion at Bournemouth away? Kaiseido. Uh, Incorrect. Two Kaiso. points deducted. Which minute did Alexis score against Man United? 98. Oh. <laughs> you, you didn't get the buzz. Um, 97. Incorrect, and that is time. Ooh, so. That could be right. <laughs> that, that one. What was it, 98? 99. Okay, so the scores have been added up, and the final scores are as follows. Paul Barber, OBE. Thank you. Five points, <laughs> which is <laughs> not great. Mr Chairman, Sir Tony Bloom, hopefully one day, <laughs> 11 points. Oh. And I'd like to uh, present you with the, with the golden buzzer. Thank you so much. Um, for this special one-off winner. Have any of you got any words for the fans at home? Well, I mean... The season has been amazing, yep. but winning this buzzer yeah. potentially is even more amazing than that. And I think that's how we finish the season. Although we do need it back for the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can have it in the, the boardroom for now, and then we'll pick it back up in America. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you Thank much, you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Buzz. Thank Good you. work, mate. Excellent. Cheers.